How do? Welcome to the world of individual bridge saddles. Interesting times. So the very first thing I've done is deepen all of the grooves in that nut. So when pulled tight, it definitely touches that zero fret with each one of those. So when we pull those all nice and tight, you're gonna get a view something like that. So then looking at these individual bridge pieces, they come with a mounting block that gets screwed down. Uh, the string goes into here and ties off at the Allen key. You twist this and it pulls that section along that ridge there. That's how you're gonna tighten it and tune the string. And then that is the actual intonation piece there. So I've always had in my head that I'm gonna to need to recess that mounting block. Um, but actually, when I pull this tight, and yes, doing these big fat strings, we're probably gonna to need to put a little kink in that string there. Um, but when that's pulled tight, it's not bad at all straight away on there. So what I think I'm gonna to do to start us off is just put all of the mounting blocks in place, screw them in, put all the strings on, and then see where we're at. If it needs then a little bit of lowering once all that string tension's in there, then we can take them off and skim a bit off. What I don't wanna do is skim a bit off and then find out that everything's too low. I don't wanna be adding material back on again. Right, so just undo the Allen key and take this section off. So looking at what we've got here, so we've got this mounting plate that has a hole in the middle, that's a threaded area that this little screw is what attaches that to the mounting plate, okay? So all we need to do is set this into here so that when we have the intonation point in line with our string length, I've got a hole in the middle for the mounting screw that I have a little bit of leeway forwards and backwards to be able to make sure that intonation can be spot on. So looking at doing that, I need to have it pretty much so that the, the leading edge of that screw hole is on the string length line. So that's all I need to do. So put that one in, I'll put the, the edge one in there, I can put the center line in, and then we, again, we just split them evenly. And then all five of these can be screwed down and then we can mount these and put strings on. And are we thinking it's going to be that simple? Unlikely, isn't it? So measure, 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 find out one of them's bloody wonky and then try and fix it. So if we look down on here, we can see that everything's looking lovely apart from this one. This hole slipped, dog nam it. Uh, so how are we gonna sort that out? Uh, well, basically, we're just gonna take the screw out, move this out the way. We're gonna fill the hole in there using sawdust and proper wood glue. Wait till that goes off and then we can re-drill the hole in the right place. So you're not gonna need a lot. So a splurge of glue, always have a pot of fine dust to hand. And then just mix it, I'm just using a cocktail stick. And you should be able to make yourself a reasonable paste not too thin, not too thick. Make sure it's well mixed in. There's no stripes of clear white glue anywhere. There we go. So that's all mixed in. So all we need to do then is just fill that hole with it. Now you might be wondering why I don't just put the cocktail stick in there. Because weirdly, the, the grain direction of the cocktail stick will end up guiding the drill bit probably back into the same hole whereas this glue will set a little bit harder 
um, and we'll kind of then hold the drill bit in the right place. What I'm doing is putting a lump on top of the hole and then literally pushing it into the hole with my finger. And I think we've got plenty in there. There we go. So just leave that to set. It doesn't take long, half an hour, long enough to have a cup of tea. And then we can come back, re-drill that and make sure that everything's nice and straight as it should be. Right, so I've had my lunch. I've drilled the access hole into the back cavity and I've put these two on just to attach those strings on to see what's going on. We might, we might need to lower it a tiny bit, we'll see. This has now gone off here, this excess that we've had. So I'm absolutely convinced that the hole that's under here that needs re-drilling is definitely set. So let's re-drill that and then we can attach all the other bridge pieces, string it up and see if it needs lowering at all. Right, okay, we're under some kind of tension. Not remotely in tune, but some kind of tension. With all the strings on and the string tension, yes, that's a bit much. Now we do want a bigger action on a bass, especially with a big fat B string, than we do on a guitar, because these strings, their rotational vibration is pretty massive. So we don't want it super close action because you'll get fret buzz all the time. But, having said that, we're currently at about 5mm, which is about too, too many. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is see if I can measure how much this needs to go down to get me the correct depth there. So this is me trying to multitask. So that's at 13mm there. So for me to go down to there... Yeah, okay. So that's going down to a 10 mil gap there. So I want to take three mil off at this point. Now let's just try another string. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do that. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recess this area uh, that all of these bolt-on attachment plates uh, are going, because they are three mil deep. So I can take it down the width of that and I'm going to do the full width across to cover all those plates and as the plan was always to recess this area even more to come out here a little bit and all of that area so you can get your fingers in because trying to do that at the minute with this in the way is really really hard so that was always part of the plan to recess that rather than have these poke out the back where they're going to get knocked for twirly purposes so now we have to take all the strings off again, all those parts off again, remark it, and then get the big nasty router out. Oh no, you thought you were going to see some trusty router action then, didn't you? Slow morn, bits flying everywhere. To be honest, that was the plan. Only my router died, so I had to go and buy a new one. By the time I'd sussed out all the little nuances of the new router, I'd finished the project and didn't record a damn thing. But hey, you've seen routing before, you know what it looks like. I tell you what, I'll put some old stock in here. There you go, there's a treat. So what did I do with the router? Well, as we said, we've dropped off this section here. Uh, so these actually now 
sit flush with the original height uh, which is lowered it down enough and then I've lowered down this back section even more I used a, a bull nose bit here uh, just to make it a little bit softer and smoother uh, that gives us enough room to get your fingers in to twiddly twiddly to tune and tension those strings properly and you can see all the hard work of putting the holes in beforehand still works because the holes are still there so we get to just plug those straight back in again uh, and then we can attach it all put the strings on and see if we can get it up to tension so one of the bugbears of these individual bridge pieces is that everything has to be tightened up a lot otherwise when you tighten the string up this whole thing just gets pulled that way uh, so we've really got to make sure that they're tightened fully and when it comes to do the intonation on this I suspect it's going to be a bit of a nightmare because the strings in the way of that allen key that allows us to move this forwards or backwards uh, is nice this recess at the back definitely helps with tightening things up though Yeah. Well, needs set up, obviously, but we have them attached. It's playable. The neck and the bridge work in relation. Yes, we've got a little bit we can tweak on there, but pretty much the strings are there. The rest of it is faffing. So, all we've got left to do because this isn't an acoustic bass, is we've got to put all the pickups and the control systems in, uh, strap buttons, that kind of jazz, um, and give it a full setup. So, watch out for what I hope will be the last video on this bass next week. Exciting times. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, thanks. Everything's great. Love you. God bless. See you soon. Laters.